Hi friends, my voice audible. I, uh, it's a skin visible and my body and my voice is audible so if it is like uh, please let me know okay voice is low do you feel that voice is low let me just check it on my end okay I think now uh, now it should be good So uh, we'll just start in few minutes. So uh, let me just, I, I think we got uh, a good count, I think. So so it's already like three minutes delayed. Till, uh, we'll be, voice is low, voice is low. Oh my God, okay. Just a moment, just a moment. Let me just check my, from my end. Okay. I think everything is set fine for the day. Audible but low. Audible but low. Okay, okay, fine. Okay. So let me just check it from my end. Just a moment. Okay, so now it is fine. Okay, because like um, uh, I just myself maybe uh, spoken in a, in a low voice. I think so. Okay, so that might be the reason. Okay, a little bit lower, louder. Okay. So now it is fine. I think uh, now it should be audible. Volume low pro. Okay. I don't think so. Like uh, volume is a bit. Uh, I think there is something. Is just a moment. Just a moment. I'm just uh, fixing it. Okay. The maximum I have changed my volume till. Uh, Everything is good. No volume, voice is clear. clear and fine. Okay, so uh, now it is loud, right? So I think uh, it is fine. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's good. Okay, so let me just start for the day. Okay, so what is up? So let me just start for the day. Okay, so, um, I think now it is uh, it is good. The the volume will be fine. Okay, the screen is visible. I think so. Okay, so let me just go ahead and uh, we can discuss lots of topics today. So uh, it's very important. Okay, the laptop sound is a problem. I think. Okay, okay, still there is some problem with the voice. Let me just check it once again. Just a moment. Just a moment. Please, please check now uh, if my voice is audible. Okay, so if, if my voice is audible. Yeah, bro, I'm from Pondicherry. Okay, so now I, I think now it should be good. Okay, so uh, I just changed my mic settings also now. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, let, let me just start. Okay. So, um, okay, so I'll just give a, a, a small clinch about the uh, candles. Okay, so we do have like two sort of candles. So one is the equilibrium candle and an imbalance candle. The equilibrium candle 
the body of the candle which is the open to close is should be the less than 50 percentage of the length of the candle which is the low to high okay so if this condition satisfies we call it this we call this particular candle as an uh, e candle okay so in the same case if it is like a imbalanced candle okay so the body of the candle which is the open to close okay so that particular zone will be like the part the particular part of the candle will be greater than 50 percentage of the body length okay so i think uh, it should be uh, fine okay so uh, th these are the two important candle types what we are going to discuss in the day okay so regarding the equilibrium candles the equilibrium candles or uh, or indecisive candles okay so we can't say that uh, the p um, a particular M e candle if it is like green color or the particular candle is in red color uh, often it, it just belongs to an e candle so it does not means that e means the bullish have won it and uh, red means the bear has won it so it's not like that so it is an um, it, it is a candle which defines okay which is a candle which defines the that particular order transaction has happened okay so there was some order transaction which happened so it does not mean that someone has won it okay so at any cost okay so in the same case like uh, if it is an imbalanced candle so it means that someone has won either the bull or the bear okay so someone has won it okay so uh, and the, the, it means that the order has been filled okay so what about the e candle the e the e candle is where the trade happens between the buyers and the sellers okay between the buyers and the sellers at the same time in the the um, the imbalance candle indicates that the order got filled and this particular script is moving so someone is winning the particular uh, uh, particular trades okay so that is how it is defined okay so first the e candle means it is uh, it is no way connected to uh, uh, to predict anyone like either the bull win or the bear win okay so that's the first thing what we need to understand and the second thing is in the imbalance so it means that someone has won it okay so these are the th two things you need to understand okay these are two uh, these are the two things uh, we need to understand okay so uh, let me just discuss about this e and uh, the e candles and the ib candles okay so uh, i think most of you guys know what is the e candle so the first one will be an ib candle and second one will be e candle and third one will be an ib candle because in this particular candle the body of the candle is more than 50 percentage of the uh, it's more than 50 percentage of the the candle range okay so uh, let me just discuss in a short um, about this particular uh, uh, zone formations okay for a zone to get formed okay for a zone to get formed we need we are in need of three components okay for a zone to get formed we are in a need of three components okay so uh, i think most of you guys are aware about this uh, zone formations because we have discussed plenty of times about this particular zone formations and uh, you would have heard like uh, some some would have heard like four or five times also okay but still i just want to say like uh, it, it is uh, it is not a big it's not a big rocket science to understand okay so those who are new uh, new and watching this video for the first time okay so uh, you guys can definitely uh, go ahead to our uh, youtube channel okay so in our youtube channel we have the playlist and under, under the playlist you can find secret behind stop loss okay the first three parts of this particular secret behind stop loss gives you a clear picture and understanding about what is the zone formations and how it how we can we can trade with the help of zone formations okay so you can just make use of that particular uh, or the playlist to understand better about the concepts okay i'm just saying it for those who are new joined okay so you uh, newly joined in our particular case okay so uh, you will be understanding more about this kind of uh, like uh, the, the zone formations and other things okay um, so let me just go ahead with the zone formations okay so in this case uh, so as we defined so we need we are in need of three particular candle types okay so uh, three three candles uh, should be there to form a particular zone okay so in general we have we do have four zones okay we do have four zones but uh, we do have an another two zones which are like special zones which is the power zone what we call okay so we'll discuss about the power zones in the later uh, slides but going ahead like the first thing what we need to understand is uh, uh, we should have uh, a zone formations like this okay the first it should be an ib candle 
and second can be an e candle which is the imbalance so which is a candle where the trade has happened okay so apart from that we uh, the third thing the third criteria is we should have an ib candle okay so if this three candles okay so let me just uh, show it in a different way just duplicate this slide for further exit okay so let me just move this apart okay so let me just discuss about this particular slide alone okay what i do i just delete this it is not required okay so see this is how a particular zone is formed okay this is how a particular zone is formed okay so first we have a a particular ib candle okay so it, it it indicates that the bull has won it okay and then what happens there comes an e candle okay so what is that e candle defines the e candle clearly defines it is a it is a place where the trade has happened so no one has won it okay so i just say the e candle as an in like a, it, it it's not like a uh, it does not gives you any idea okay so like who won the particular uh, who's under who's under the control okay either the bull is under like a bull is controlling the market or the bear is controlling market okay so that's the only thing what you need to understand so in this case like the green uh, the green zone what you see the like the e candle okay which is of green color or red color it can be anything okay it can be anything okay so uh, it does not defines that someone has uh, taken uh, taken the power okay so this zone uh, like uh, for a zone formations we need three components the first ib candle okay the first ib candle is over here is the green candle and uh, what about the e candle what color it is it is in green color right now and this uh, and this ib candle it is in red color okay for a cell zone to form for a cell zone to form the outer the the the, um, the candle which comes out right for a cell zone the candle which comes out should be a red color candle okay the red color ib candle will give you the cell zone okay so at same time the green color ib candle will give you a give you a buy zone okay so this is what you need to understand okay okay so this is the first form uh, like uh, hope you guys understand like how a particular zone is formed okay so this is how a zone is formed but we do have some different criteria okay so in order to understand more about this criteria are just given in this particular uh, scenario you, you can just see in the second slide you can understand it in a better way okay so for a zone to form we need at least three candles okay that is the first thing what we have understood okay now let me just come to the second part okay the second scenario is so particular zone formation should have at least three lows okay for a for a zone formations it should at least have three zones for uh, for a zone formations uh, we have a second criteria the second criteria states that it should follow a three new lows in case of sell zones and three new highs in case of a buy zone okay so that's the first thing what you need to understand okay so uh, we have right now we have two criteria for a zone formations the first zone formation the first criteria is we should have three candles for a zone formations out of which there should be two ib candles and one e candle and the candle which comes out of the zone should be red in case of the sell zone and should be green in the case of the buy zone okay so i think this this is what the very uh, very neat explanation i have given in the past i think so okay because i i have just conducted this particular session many times so uh, now i just got, now now even myself got a very clear idea about um, explaining it in a very uh, very uh, easiest way and even a particular uh, a novice can understand it in a very easy manner okay so uh, that that is why i'm just repeating this concept many times okay so those who are uh, already know about this okay those who are uh, those who are like uh, um have a lot of experience on this okay so uh, those guys i just feel sorry for them because uh, you would have re repeatedly hearing the same words because like uh, each and everyone should be on the same page okay so the, whenever i just see in the groups plenty of people do not understand the basic concepts of a zone formations so because of that only i'm just giving a, a small and a very brief uh, it's like a brief uh, knowledge about the zone formations because this is the this is a very important concept to be understand and in the upcoming days so we are going to further discuss about it 
okay so uh, this is not only this is not going to end in a very like a shorter period of one month or two months see this strategy you can use it like n number of days okay so uh, you, you no need to uh, keep on searching for new new strategies which works on all the scenarios okay so this strategy will work very fine okay so you can be uh, you can be very uh, like uh, you, you you can just make it very clear uh, view and uh, you can you can have a, a very clear view on the market okay so uh, down the line after 10 years or 15 years this zone marking is to be the same okay this zone marking is to be the same there is no there is no such variation is going to happen between um, the time period of 2020 to uh, the period of uh, 20 uh, 2050 or 2000 sorry or 2100 okay so even still 2100 this will this will remain same okay so you you no need to check for the entire like each and every time you, you no need to uh, um, you you no need to uh, go for some new strategies which works in the market very well okay so all the strategies have a particular uh, um, like particular time period okay so most of the time most of the time we say that uh, most of the indicators are uh, seasonal it's like a seasonal fruit it just gives you a profit for a short time but after that what happens it starts to change okay so on that case uh, we just need to uh, understand in a very easy way that market is always uh, um, market is always always remains same okay the, the price moves from a particular uh, particular buy zone which is a demand and the obviously the where the price will end which used to take a turn on the sell zone okay so how a sell zone is formed it is due to the institutions believe that this price is overvalued so we just sell it okay so uh, because they become the initiative seller and the initiative buyer okay so all in, in this program we need to understand like uh, we are going to travel with the institutions where we find that this particular case like uh, this is where we catch the bottom and we catch the top okay so these are the things what you need to understand okay down the line after 10 years and 20 years okay if 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 i'm just taking some session i'm going to say the same words okay there is no change in the words there is no change in the words because why i'm just saying this this was the same method which was followed in the year to like 1980 it was same 1950 it was same okay so it is traveling for a long time but the thing is these things are not introduced in the youth like these things are not introduced in the youtube so even some people introduce it but most of the time the live is get, getting the little like uh, as i said like sam sidon he's one of my uh, from, from whom i just uh, admire and uh, i just learned it from him so uh, he's he's literally uh, a, a very genuine person okay i just understand like um, the, the way he he represents the the sell zones and the buy zones so it's it was really remarkable Okay, so uh, I just uh, I just feel thanks for uh, uh, coining such a good strategy. I believe that uh, uh, he is the best mentor what I had. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, so going ahead, uh, let me just discuss further. Okay, so um, this is this is why I'm just insisting and uh, repeating this concept many times. Okay, so how a zone is formed? The zone need a three components. One is the IB candle, and the second one should be a E candle, and third one will be an IB candle. Okay, this is the first zone formations criteria. And what about the second criteria? Second criteria we should have like three consecutive lows in the case of sell zone, and three consecutive highs in the case of buy zone. See, three consecutive highs in the case of uh, buy zone, and uh, three consecutive lows in the case of sell zone. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the case what you need to uh, understand okay so right right now we we just found that two criteria are there okay two criteria are there okay so that is the only thing what we need to understand okay so now i just insist you guys like uh, so those who have taken trade today and uh, what are the trades went on positive okay let me just first discuss on the positive side okay so because there are there are a lot of discussions in our telegram channel okay so and uh, i think nowadays uh, many people started to speak more about the zones and uh, i just i i really believe that this particular community has grown to a very big extent and people started to uh, uh, they just started to analyze the trades okay and uh, even i just see few people uh, keep on uh, they just posting the zones what has formed and how the zones has reacted so that that really gives me happiness that i, I have done something to this community okay so uh, to, to be frank i just want to disclose one thing uh, I, I was really shocked on the performance of uh, mr anand okay so uh, I, I think i can just show his face also i was uh, i was really admiring like few guys who are who are definitely uh, taking care of this uh, 
community to a greater extent okay so i just like to thank few guys so first uh, uh, first and foremost i need to thank uh, okay anand is there first okay so anand uh, really thankful for you like uh, you have done something for this group and uh, you started to post lot of things and uh, uh, i'm really happy about it okay so uh, you have turned to be a uh, expert in the down down the line after 5 years okay i can just see you guys uh, attending lots of sessions and helping the community to grow in a such a way and the second thing i just need to uh, thank uh, satya because satya has placed one thing uh, it it was really a happy uh, that was really a happy moment for me for me like i, I think satya is watching this video um, i'm not pretty sure whether he is there in the session or not but still uh, he has done one thing today and th that really made me uh, very happy I, i don't know like where that message went okay so he was he was just uh, uh, he, he has just discussed um like uh, the um, this group oh, so why you want to be in this group okay he, he answered it in uh, yeah this one like i just pin it once again okay thank you satya for uh, your uh, valuable words and uh, fortunately uh, i just made few of you guys to become an admin okay because uh, you guys are active in it okay so uh, i i just really uh, i was really shocked uh, the way satya has replied okay even uh, even i have never uh, done this kind of uh, i never thought of uh, this kind of words and see it, it it was it was a really happy moment when i when i just saw this message from satya okay so it it was like uh, um it was it was like a excellent moment when i just read this uh, wordings from satya and uh, thank you anand and uh, i have another guy like uh, i just missed it okay uh, devi prasad uh, so he is also very active nowadays okay so uh, most of the time uh, it, it was really happy uh, happy thing for me like uh, you guys have started uh, started discussing more about the zone formations and uh, you guys have really made my day and uh, uh like you, you should definitely uh, i'm i'm really i'm really i'm really thankful for you guys so uh, i think this community will be an another milestone uh, in the hindi industry so i don't like how much uh, long we are going to take this uh, community but still it is uh, it, it is a great moment for me okay so thank you guys like uh, i just from soul heartedly i just thank you guys for uh, or i see right now the count has considerably increased from 80 to 160 so it was a, like a drastic change okay so uh, so this is what i can give you back okay so i can teach you to the core extent of how this zone formation happens so today uh, i think the 160 members who are watching it uh, so you guys will be definitely uh, understanding this concept in a very clear way and from tomorrow onwards you can form the zones without any uh, any any difficulty okay so because i i we are just going to discuss on from the ground level how this uh, zone is forming and we are going to discuss lots of thing today okay about the zone formations okay guys uh, so going ahead like uh, we we'll, we are going to discuss the three criteria so two criteria so the first one we says we are seen the three the three candles and second one is the three new lows and uh, so that's a very important thing and there was another doubt okay which was happening which many were asking me like uh, how many e candles can be there okay so how many e candles can be there so the, the my answer is like of uh, we can have one or two or three okay so this is what the maximum we can have so if it is more than that if it is more than that okay sorry i think uh, i just went uh, quite away from the system okay thank you thank you. thanks for remembering okay so um, now now in this case like uh, if you see the the sell zones or the buy zones can how, how many e candles can it have okay so it can be zero in the case of power zone which is go, which are going to discuss or it can have one or two or three okay now now you can you, you need to understand one thing okay so if it is like one candle if it is like a one candle it means that the particular uh, the particular time the market spent over there it's only like uh, if it is like intraday time frame of 1 or 3 minutes so it means that uh, the particular candle uh, can be a 3 minutes only the market has waited over there okay only 3 minutes the market waited over there okay now in the case of the second uh, second case okay the market waited for there for 6 minutes 
okay the market waited for six minutes and the second third thing then it waited for nine minutes okay so now i just ask you a question okay now i just ask you a question okay so the first candle the, in the first case second case and third case okay the order probable the filling of order okay the filling of order if the time is less the filling of order will be less if the time is more the filling of order is more okay yes or no okay uh, yes or no i just want you to answer this question like uh, uh, so the, the the maximum the time okay the candle formed is one two three so obviously there is a chance that the open orders can be filled okay so if it is like one candle it has a lesser uh, lesser opportunity if it is like two candles so it's uh, sorry if it is one candle it has a high probability and if it has like uh, two candles then uh, okay that 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 may be the case okay sometimes we can have an open order but in the case of three okay it is little bit fine but still considerable okay in the case of four five six definitely i i, I just I, I just come to a con, uh, con, uh, assumption that the orders would have got filled okay the orders would have got filled earlier okay so that's a very important thing what you need to understand okay so i think this gives you a very clear idea that um, whether how how many candles can be there okay so okay fine so now i just given you a case study that case one has only one e candle case two we have two e candles and case three we have three e candles okay now what you define now what you guys are going to define it okay you just give me an idea like what will be the case okay so uh, uh, the lesser the e candles the more probability the more probability the order might have been there might be an open order okay the lesser the count of e candle there is a more probability when the market retraces to the same level so it may have an it may have an open order so that it can come it can get reversed from that particular zone okay i think uh, this gives you a clear understanding about the e candles okay so if you don't understand this concept please let me know why so based upon the e candles based upon the e candles i'm just giving a very clear picture that the number of the n number of if it is like 1 2 3 hence the count increases from 1 to 2 or 1 to 3 what happens the order the probability of the particular zone working gets less okay it just gets less okay so this is the first thing what you need to understand okay i think i have given you a, a very brief and clear understanding about a uh, zone formations okay so if it is yes i can just get some uh, answers like yes you understood okay like, like that I can, I can get some yes okay so uh, there are almost like 160 people watching this video okay so at least half of that can just give a comment that uh, if you understand my way of explaining today how a zone formation will happen is correct or you are clear about it okay so I can, let me just get some uh, n number of s the lesser the e candle more the pending order s obviously navin so that's the only thing okay i think i just made it very clear i can get some more s because it it, it, it may just give me some uh, some motivation that i can just bring it to a level Okay, that's fine. I'm just getting good number of A's. Okay, that's fine. Okay, very well understood. That's really good. That's really good. Awesome. So now I just believe that almost most of you guys have uh, um, Lalal Singh, like uh, what do you mean by uh, the orders filling okay see like uh, uh, i think you need to watch the past videos once because uh, if i just started to take that i'm sure this flow will be getting uh, uh, getting disturbed okay so let me just go in a flow okay uh, anyhow i'll just give you a clear picture after this uh, session ends okay okay fine okay so uh, i just repeat it once again okay so it i just want to make it very clear the first criteria for a zone formation is we should have three candles okay the first candle is an 
should be an uh, IB candle and second one should be an E candle and third one will be an IB candle. Okay, all these three candles all together forms a particular zone. Okay, this is the first criteria. The second criteria you should it should have like three new lows in the case of sell zone and three new highs in the case of buy zone. Okay, so this is the second thing. Okay, so this is the second case and then the third case and the, and the th third very important thing what you need to understand is based upon the E candles. Okay, the E candles defines that how much time the zone has formed. Okay, so the zone is formed like if it is like one, two and three. The, if it is like one candle, one E candle, it means that it spent only three minutes in a time, intraday time frame and uh, six minutes in the second case and nine minutes in the third case. Okay, so the more the time the particular script uh, stays in a particular for a zone formation, more the time it takes. Okay, just Im just imagine what more the time it takes. Okay, more the time it takes, the lesser the volume. Okay, more the time it takes, the lesser the volume. Okay, that's a very important thing what we need to understand. Okay, that's a very important thing what you need to understand. Okay, um, let me just have some water. Stay with me. That's fine. Okay. So let me just make it now. Okay. So uh, let me just go ahead further discuss another uh, very important thing. Okay. So uh, whenever uh, you just identify one thing, whenever a cell zone is formed, okay, whenever a cell zone is formed, it always has a red candle which is coming out of the zone. Okay. See, like uh, in this case. A red candle okay so we have like two criterias the one is a reversal pattern this is a reversal pattern and this is a continuation pattern okay so what what do you mean by reversal pattern the reversal pattern it just clearly indicates that the, pr the price of a particular stock has went up and it has just passed for some time and from there it just starts to fall down okay so this is the very important thing you need to understand so we, we it's like a reversing right so we call it as a reversal pattern and in this case it is like a a drop or it is just dropping for a while okay and then what happens it just passes for a while and then it just drops again okay so it just clearly indicates it's a continuation pattern okay it's a continuation pattern okay this is the second thing what you need to understand that okay in the same cases like let me just go ahead and and uh, another important thing is you see in this both the cell cases the first uh, the, the third ib candle okay the third ib candle Okay, it is an IB, uh, it is an uh, red color. Okay, it is in red color. And a very important thing regarding the E candle, the E candle can be in green or red. It does not mean even two green candles can form an even two green candles can form a particular sell zone or a buy zone. Even two red candles can form a particular buy zone. Okay, it does not mean like any any candle E candle does not have any color identification. There will be no color identification. So you can just understand that it can be anything. Okay. Okay. The next case is in the case of a buy zone formations, the first candle which comes out of the zone, the first candle which comes out of the zone will be an E candle. Also, so it will be, will be a green color candle. Sorry. It will, be, it will be a green color candle and the same case in the continuation pattern also the first candle which comes out of the zone it is called as a it is it is called to be in green color okay so in the buy case the, the candle which comes out okay of the zone will be in green color and the red color in the case of cell zone okay so this is the very important thing what you need to understand okay I think now of a particular zone formations it just clearly explained Okay, now let me just discuss about the zone actions. Okay, so in zone actions, what are the things, uh, what's a very important thing we need to understand is like uh, the first, uh, the first thing is whenever a cell zone is formed, okay, you don't, because there was a lots of questions, there are lots of questions, okay, bro, like uh, whenever the particular zone is formed, okay, we, we conclude it on the third candle. Okay, we conclude it on the third candle, first candle, second candle, third candle we conclude it and we need to take the entry over here. So this is a 
this is a very important question most of the uh, like novices ask me like uh, so we need to take an entry over here so that is what they have uh, okay so they just requested me like whether we we need to take an entry at this point okay whenever the candle is closed we need to take an entry over here no not at all okay a cell zone is formed okay we just have the three candles indication okay now the question is why we use like a three new lows okay three new lows why we define it okay so let me just put it in a very very easy manner okay so is it possible for you or me okay to push a particular a particular uh, stock from the level of 200 uh, sorry, 2252 to the level of uh, 2180 okay so either you or me okay so either either you or me can do this i don't think so i don't think so it, it is not possible at all okay so there is some institutional activity which is going on over there okay which is going on over there so it, it just clearly indicates that the price is moved by a particular person okay so here also we can see like uh, um we do have some zones okay see so we can call this also as a zone See, it was like a, a particular red candle is an IB candle and this is an E candle and this is also an IB candle and I, I think considerably it has like a two or three I, I think it's it has like a three but the zone got reacted okay so uh, that's fine okay in this case in this case let me just see so this is an IB candle okay this green color candle is IB candle and uh, three E candles okay let me just consider this three as an E candle and this one as an IB candle okay so now what happens the zone is formed over here the zone is formed over here but it does not have a three new highs okay so why i define this three new highs it is it is having some under basic understanding about it about it okay so the first thing is whenever the particular three candles whenever three candles are getting new 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 lows okay three candles are getting continuously three new lows so it means that someone which is who is having a very good potential okay someone is having a very good potential has sold it to a very great extent okay so someone from someone who is there lying over there in a price range of uh, 2252 to 2650 has a very huge strength so he is capable of forming three consecutive new lows okay that is a very important thing you need to understand okay that's a very important thing what you need to understand okay so the three new lows cannot be formed by a retailer like you and me okay that's the first important thing you need to understand okay so uh, this gives you some promising uh, promising uh, uh, understanding that the the, no, the institutions may be there okay so it just clearly indicates that there is a there is a high probability there is a high probability that this um, there is a high probability the institutions may live over there okay the institution may live over there so because of that only the prices have just slashed three new new lows okay so it just indicates that there is a high probability the open orders can be there okay i think you guys understood in a very clear way okay so that that is a very important thing why i just insist you to have a three consecutive lows okay okay now what's the zone action okay so we just define this as a particular zone so the whenever the three candle form so we just create it as a particular zone but in this case what happens uh, many 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 people just started asking me okay at the third candle i just taken the entry okay where the zone is formed okay i just the third candle i'm just getting the entry so where the zone is formed but what happens whenever it just uh, if you're taking a trade over here it, 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 it does not have any sense okay because we have the order not over here we, we have the open orders which is lying in the e candle where the trade happened okay earlier i just so told you very clearly the e candle is where the trade is happening okay so what happens the price will be traveling back to the particular level traveling back to the particular level and from there only you need to from there only you need to enter the trade okay so in this particular case what will be your action okay when the price retrace to the same level what will be your action if the price retrace to the same level what will be your action obviously your action will be selling okay so in the case of this 
this zone action like what what will be your case okay see here there is a three new candles and then the market price re reverse back to the sell zone okay so obviously your action will be you will be selling the particular stock okay so in the case of similarly in the case of buy zone what will be your action okay the prices comes back to the level the prices comes back to the level so what will be your action your action will be buying okay and in, in this case and in this reversal pattern the market price just passed for a while and it formed a three consecutive new highs and then it passes for a while and then it comes back to the same zone where we expect the market would have we expect the market would have open order so what happened considerably the market price came over here and then just got filled and from there it just started to bounce back from there it started to bounce back okay so obviously our action will be buying okay so this is the zone action what you need to understand okay i think you guys are very clear when to take an entry okay you guys are very clear like when to take an entry so that's a very important thing what you need to understand okay okay now next let me just come to the entry and stop loss okay now i just discussed more about the entry and the stop losses okay like uh, the zone about the zone i have discussed a lot okay about the zone i have discussed a lot but the very important thing what i need to further discuss on okay it's the entry and the stop loss and what about the target okay these are the three very important components after a zone is formed after a zone is formed so what is the next move okay we need to think on that okay so now we understood the first criteria of the three candles form the zone okay and the second thing is three new lows will be there or three new highs in the case of buy zone okay we just get the both the both the cases and what will be the action also we know now the very important thing what we need to understand is what we need to understand is the reversal okay so the, the entry and the stop loss okay that is what we require okay that is what we need to understand okay so now i think you guys are uh, you just you guys clearly understand that uh, the concept till the entry and stop loss i think everyone is clear okay everything everyone is clear okay so uh, now let me just go ahead and further discuss about the entry and the stop loss okay so going ahead we are just going to discuss more about the entry and the stop loss okay so uh, just give me a moment let me just have some water come back So uh, I'll just take a quite small break. Okay. So meanwhile, um, I think I just spoke very fastly today and and quite loud also. Okay. Okay. So uh, so those who have not uh, subscribed to our channel, okay. So you can just go out and subscribe our channel. So those who are new and watching for the first time, okay, you can just uh, um, watch our uh, YouTube uh, like uh, YouTube videos. Okay. So we have uploaded almost like. Uh, I think we have completed like 20 to 25 videos we have completed i think so okay so um uh, apart, apart from that i just want to give something about this uh what is this like the playlist what we have like uh, we have discussed more about the zone formations and price action trading in our uh, secret behind your stop loss webinars okay so those who are new you can directly go out and watch this all the videos it's almost like 12 12 to 13 hours video okay so uh, definitely it will give you a very clear understanding about the market scenarios okay so uh, definitely it will be very helpful for you guys uh, to understand further about the concepts what we are discuss what we're discussing right now okay so uh, i'm really thankful for uh, you guys for joining this session because hence it's a uh, it's a weekend right so it's sunday it's friday yeah so it's a weekend and still you guys are continuing it okay so uh, thanks for joining and um, Oh, so I just really feel that uh, today I just spoke a lot and quite loud, I think so.
thank you guys okay let me just start again okay so uh, now let me just discuss about the entries okay so this is this is uh, um, okay now 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 let, let me just go ahead further okay see the the stop loss line and the entry line okay this is this is going to be the very important okay so now um okay now we have given you the basic and a very deep understanding about the zone formations okay so now we are just going to uh, further discuss about the okay so further discuss about the lines what we have okay so we do have like a two very important lines which is our entry and the other one is the stop loss okay so uh, this is a very important concept what um, apart from zone formation the entry and the stop loss going to page play play the major role and that is the one which is going to pay back you okay and that is the one which is going to pay back for you okay so uh, now let me just uh, take it further okay so uh, there are like three methods okay there are like three methods what we uh, three methods which you need to understand okay about this uh, zone formations okay so the first thing is the first thing is the body to wick method okay so in this uh, in this case like first we see the all the three methods and we start to uh, start to practice it okay so meanwhile we can start to practice it and uh, okay so we are just going to see everything in a practical way not in a ppt okay so after we discussing this three concepts the method the method one and two and three okay once this is discussed then we can directly go to the trading view chart and we are just going to draw chart draw the zones okay so that's the thing what we are going to do now okay so um, in this case like uh, we do have like two lines which is the entry line and the stop loss line obviously the target line we can define it okay so there are lots of way how a target can be defined okay so we will be discussing more about that okay so uh, let me just uh, start discussing about the first method the first method we do have like the body to wick method the first method we just discuss about the body to wick method so in the body to wick method we just take the high of the particular body okay the so body you know that the open to close is the body of the candle okay so because of the we call the high of the body we just consider in the case of buy buy zone and the case of sell zone we consider as a low one okay so we'll just discuss further about it okay so uh, and the and the stop loss will be the bottom of the particular zone okay so let me just go ahead and uh, the second method is the second method is wick to wick method so wick to wick means we just take the high and the low of the entire uh, e candle okay and then we mark it as a zone okay so this zone is the second method okay and then the third method is the body low to wick so this is the worst method and we don't follow and we don't suggest this method okay so there are reasons for everything and uh, when we will be using the wick to wick method and when we will be using the body to wick method okay so these two methods is what we are going to discuss and we are going to skip the third method which is body low to wick okay so why i just say this method is not suitable because there is a because like many of you guys would have traded right now okay they would have formed a zone what happens the zone the market comes back and either it reacts and either it reacts from the from the high okay so either in this case like uh, if you see in this case like so uh, it just react from the high of the e candles okay so th that can be the first case and the second case what happens it just comes and then touches the particular body high okay and then it starts to rush okay and then it starts to rush okay so this is the second thing what you need to understand okay so let me just come back once again like um, and in the third case what happens it is below the body it is below the body and obviously the opportunity the opportunity of the market to come over there okay the market price once it comes over there definitely definitely uh, it, is, it is going to be something difficult for the order filling okay so the first understanding for a particular trade setup is what we need we need to get the order filled okay we need to get the order filled but obviously that is not happening obviously that is not happening because we have the entry in a very lower level very lower level and another important thing if the market if the price has crossed 50 more than 50 percentage of a particular zone okay so let me just consider 
in this case so this is the full zone if the market price comes almost to the 50 percentage of the candle zone it is has a it has a high probability it has a high probability that it can be hitting the stop loss okay so it has a high probability that it can hit the stop loss okay that's a very important thing what you need to understand so because of that only the third method is not used okay so what i do i just go over there and then delete it okay so going ahead we are going to discuss only two methods there is only two methods just forget about the third method okay so because i just deleted this on this moment why because earlier i i have given the discussion i have just discussed about the three topics okay the, the three methods i have discussed okay so we are just removing the third method because many would have have like those who have seen in the past so they should definitely they will be having a doubt that uh, this particular uh, what is this like uh, uh, okay why uh, did he has removed that particular so he now he is saying only two methods okay so why, why he just insisting in the two methods okay so uh, it is why because i just i just wanted to do, wanted wanted it to del to be deleted on on uh, before you okay so that you just understand that why i have deleted that okay the order filling probability is less that's the first criteria and the second criteria is uh, Okay, and the second criteria is whenever the particular can, uh, zone is filled almost like 50 percentage there is a high probability there is a high probability that the stop loss can be hit okay so uh, and now in this case when, whenever the body low to weak it is very it, it is very in the, in, the, in the bottom of the zone okay so we are just trying to catch the very bottom so obviously it is not going to be a, a fruitful one so because of that only we are deleted that okay so going ahead we do have only two cases the one is the body to weak and the second case is the wick to wick method okay so when do we use both the cases okay this is a very important question when we do use this both the case okay so whenever you are trading in indian market whenever you are trading in indian market okay you can definitely choose the first method whenever you are trading in the uh, indian market you can choose the first method whenever you are trading in an international market like forex or an international uh, if you if someone is watching from an external like any other country okay so you guys can definitely use it in a case like week to week method because most of the uh, like um, because i have like many many traders who are using it for forex and in forex it just gives you a a, a very clear idea okay so um, okay so we just get like a clear idea that uh, whenever you get a, a week to week method in international chart it works really good okay when compared to the uh, the first method okay so because what happens most of the trades will just like that okay the most of the trade just like that reverse from the week to week methods okay so because of that only for international market i just suggest you guys you can use the week to week method okay so i think most many of you guys would have been trading in the international market like forex markets so damn sure you can just make use of it and in the case of uh, the first method in indian market it is fine okay so regarding the commodities damn sure you can use the method one which is the body to wick method and it will be definitely uh, this this respects most of the time okay so uh, in the case of uh, in the case of wick to wick method i suggest it to be used in the international market example forex okay so uh, like if you are trading in international market in uh, silvers or gold okay so definitely uh, you can use this method okay so this will definitely give you a clear picture and understanding about the market scenarios okay so i i think uh, i think this uh, i think i have briefly explained okay so maybe like i have taken like 20 sessions in the past okay but i think this session is the very brief uh, uh, brief uh, i just briefed it in uh, to the core okay so I, I believe that i have delivered this content in uh, the ever best i have given okay so i just spent a lot of things uh, analyzing this so what are the things to be explained okay so uh, i just taken almost like one hour to to think about what what are the things to be discussed because from a novice side what are the mistakes he will do okay so i just came uh, i just noted down all the points okay and then from there i just bought all the so whatever the presentation i'm just giving over here maybe the slide maybe the the past slides but uh, still we consider uh, i have i have just worked almost like one to two hours 
especially for this session because this should be understood for the very low uh, the, those who have a very uh, understand very low understanding capacity should also understand this concept very clearly so because because of that only this session will be quite slow for the experienced trader but definitely this will be the most fundamental uh, session uh, i have taken okay so uh, i think uh, this will be uh, uh, most of you guys would have got a clear understanding about the zone methods okay so we do have like a, the line placements can be either two ways the one is the body to wick method and the other one is the wick to wick method okay so this is the uh, this is the important thing what you need to understand okay fine uh, I think uh, just give me a moment let me just take a break because I just spoke more than for one half so because I'm just getting something like uh, it, it's quite difficult for me Okay, so uh, I think uh, today we'll be uh, uh, today or tomorrow, maybe uh, we'll be reaching a thousand in our uh, thousand count in our YouTube channel. So that that's really a great moment for me, and uh, because in a very shorter period, in a very very shorter period, so we have bought it to a very a great extent. Okay, so it it would draw like almost a very short journey, like. Uh, in or like it's almost like 40 days okay so maybe the youtube channel we have started with almost like 40 to 45 days but still we got a very great response and uh, it just simply rocked so we are just moving towards uh, four digits okay the four digit is something very big for me okay so uh, considerably we may reach six digits in a um, in another another one year down the line one year we, we may be reaching the level of six digits or seven digits maybe if if, if there is such opportunity i i I may I may reach uh, like uh, like seven digits. Okay, but fortunately I believe that I will definitely reach uh, a, a six digit of numbers. Okay, so uh, I just expect that. Okay, uh, thank you guys. Um, and the, because like each and everyone over here watching is like um, you 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 guys are uh, uh, my like you you guys are following me from the beginning. Okay, okay. I just see like many guys who, who knows me like uh, more than three years or four years. Okay, they have traveled with me like Sinivas and a few members they have traveled almost like four or five years um, almost from 2015 to 16 many people are uh, traveling along with me so that's really a, a great a great thing okay, um, let me just okay guys um, thank you thank you everyone so without you guys this would have not happened that, that, that's the real truth okay so uh, let me just go ahead and uh, practically see how to form a particular zone okay so we will see all the zone formations and then after that we will come back to the power zone okay so because uh, also okay I think it, it is not that much uh, big concept so let me just uh, check on the power zones also Okay, so uh, the power zones is not a very big complicated stuff. It is it is a very easy one to understand. Okay, and the power zones has a very uh, high probability trade setup. Why? Because like uh, it just has uh, <laughs> it just increases like power zone. Thank you, thank you guys. Okay, so uh, you see like uh, the po the power zone is what we need to understand uh, in a very in a very deep way. Why? Because okay, earlier we have discussed one thing. Okay, so we have, earlier we have discussed one thing like based upon the counts. Okay, the counts of the the count of the candle, the count of the E candle we have discussed. Okay, so in that case, you guys have understood in a very easy way. Okay, as the as much as the time the market the particular script pairs on the particular zone. Okay, as much as the time the particular uh, the particular zone takes to form. Okay, so the higher the probability, the sorry, the lesser the candles, higher the probability. Okay, that is what we have discussed. Okay, in the case of one, two, and three E candles, we have discussed it very clearly. Okay, now in the case of power zone, it is very easy to predict it. Now we don't have, we don't have any E candles. So what it defines? Okay, I just give a uh, 10 seconds gap. Okay, so meanwhile you can just uh, type it. Okay, so whether it's a high probability or a low probability and what you believe that see now we don't have any E candles. Okay, we don't have any E candles, but we do form a one, two, three, four, like a, like a three E can three new highs are formed. Okay, three new highs are formed, but there is no E candle. 
but there is no e candle so what it defines what it clearly says there is a high probability that's a first answer and the next answer is hence the hence the particular hence we don't have any e candles where the order filling has happened okay hence there is a there is no e candle there is no e candle it clearly indicates that the order the trade has not happened the trade has not happened to that core okay to that core it has not happened so because of that what happened the market like uh, it just formed three new highs okay it has formed three new highs and which in turn give a very good profitability okay so which in turn gives you a very good prof uh, profitability when it returns back to the zone okay so it has a very high probability trade setup because the trade has not happened all of a sudden the someone came with a so someone came with a very big power big power and then he just pushed the market to a new 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 highs in a consecutive three candles so it clearly indicates that the institution has came in okay the institution has came in so that's a very important thing what you need to understand okay so i think uh, it just gave you a very clear picture about the uh, about the power zones a uh, power zones is nothing but it don't have any e candle hence it does not have any e candle the time the market spent over there is very less comparatively okay so that's a very important thing you need to understand okay uh, okay so let me just go ahead further and uh, discuss but how to form a particular zone in the market okay uh, if there was a thing like if there was a zone formations okay so which happened in silver okay it's a silver e can like a silver us candle or sorry us chart or in uh, indian chart let me just check in both first let me just check it in I am which time frame? Ten minutes. One hour. Which time frame it was like? It, this was this was an awesome fall. <laughs> this was an awesome fall. Okay, let me just see this example. This, this example looks good. Okay, this example looks good. So let me just check it now. Um. You see, um, I just take this sample for this. Now you see the first, the first green candle is an IB candle. The first E candle is an IB candle, and second candle is an E candle, and third candle is also E candle. So we have two candles over here. Okay, now I just plot it like this. Okay, why I have plotted like this? okay and uh, the third thing is we have okay so let me just consider like one by one okay for a zone formation for a zone formation how many uh, what are the components we require for a zone formation what are the components we do require like we we need three components we need three components the first component should be the e uh, ib candle and second component should be e candle and third component should be an ib candle okay so in this case what happens we do have like the first ib candle the second and third is the what candle the second and third is the e candle and the fourth candle here is a ib candle and fifth candle is also ib candle and sixth candle is an e candle okay so this is the first understanding what you need to take okay now what i do i just mark it as a zone okay so this forms a particular zone so this forms a particular zone i think it is visible for you guys um I think now it is visible so this is where a particular zone is formed okay so how many uh, how many candles it has taken to form a zone one 
two, three, four, five, six candles it has taken. Okay, so it just varies. Like E candle, uh, if there is only uh, one E candle, it will be like uh, almost one, two, three, four, five. Five will be there. If it is in the case of power zone, we have only four candles. Okay, so that's the first thing what we need to understand. Okay, now we have taken almost like one, two, three, six candles we have taken. Okay, so what is the first candle? It is an IB candle. Second candle and third candle is a E candle. Fourth candle is an IB candle. Fifth candle is an IB candle. And sixth candle is an E candle. Okay, so now what we consider this this is a reversal sell zone okay it is a reversal pattern okay all of a sudden the price was going up and all of a sudden just passed for a period and then fallen back okay so what it indicates it clearly indicates that it, indi it clearly indicates that that it is a it formed a sell zone okay now we do have like a two methods we do have two methods okay so uh, how it is like two methods the one is the body to wick method and the second one is the wick to wick method okay so first one first let me just draw the wick to wick method okay so from wick to wick method means i need to form from the which is the high so this is a high from here to here i just mark it okay now you guys understand i think you guys understand it very well okay now you guys understand it so this is a this is a sell zone this is a sell zone okay so uh, what happens okay let so that there are lots of thing like uh, five minutes let me just check it okay okay now let, let me just go with the 10 minutes so we'll, it, it, the time you just don't see on the time frame okay so uh, meanwhile we can just uh, look it for look it further okay so meanwhile we can just look it further so we'll just do it in all the time frames don't worry we do have a surplus of time okay so anyhow we are just we'll be discussing lots of things on a, on a on a live trade basis so that everyone will be on the same picture to understand it very clearly okay so uh, in this case if you see the first the uh, we just draw the week to week method okay so this is fine okay now what i do let me just put it in a different uh, second chart also i just put it okay so uh, it will be like very easy to understand uh, now let me just mark this silver okay so in this silver like 10 minutes i'll just take it okay so uh, similarly we consider this as a the body to wick method okay okay guys so i think uh, i think this is fine in 15 minutes okay 15 minutes that's only one candle but it does not satisfy the criteria okay let's see we are just seeing uh, i think we are, we are just seeing how the zone is formed okay don't see this reaction part okay i think the only problem is this reaction what i do i just cut it okay let it be like this for a while okay so this is how a particular zone is formed okay so in the second case i just mark it like this so what's the second case written text body to pick this is the second case and the first case is week to week okay the two cases we do have the first case is uh, the body to wick okay, let me just put it over here the first case is body to wick and second case is wick to wick okay i think you guys understood it very clearly okay so this these are the two cases what we see okay now what will be our entry okay what will be our entry okay the entry will be the entry will be the low of the candle and the stop loss will be high of the candle okay always always for a sell zone always for always for a sell zone we used to always for a sell zone we we used to have the entry in the in the in the lower level and stop loss in the higher level for sell zones always the entry will be lower and the stop loss will be higher and for buy zones the entry will be higher and the stop loss will be lower okay so uh, as usual like i uh, hope you guys understood it very clearly because it is a it is a very common phenomenon okay so it, it is not something uh, rocket science i'm just discussing okay so 
let me just draw the entry line so this is my entry line okay i just mark it in the color of red sorry color of blue and uh, my stop loss line i just uh, define it in the color of red okay so which will be the high of the high of the e candles okay so i have not taken the ib candle now okay so we'll discuss like in the, some cases ib candle may have a extended uh, extended uh, um how to say like uh, it will have some extended uh, fields okay so like uh, the wick will be extended so in this on, on that particular case on that particular case we need to take the um the ib candle wick also okay so we'll we'll discuss that we'll discuss that okay so um okay so now see now see like uh, the entry is okay let, let me just put the end okay the entry can be in the green, blue color and the stop loss will be the red color and the target will be on green color okay so the, let me just make it in that way okay so let me just mark it somewhere like this okay so uh, it's almost like green color okay now you guys sort of clearly understood okay now you guys clearly understood how we fix the entry you just take the two candles the two e candles are here okay the body okay let me just put it here like um, okay the body to wick method okay the body the body to wick method you just taken the low okay it's you see this candle if it has a low till this if the candle has a low like this then you can take like this but for here the two e candles if you comparatively which has the lower low on the two e candles which has the lower low that that's very important which has the lower low this second candle has the lower low okay so lower low on the body lower low on the body okay now what i do i just draw the line from here to here okay hope you guys understood it clearly okay so when should you enter when should you enter you should enter only when the price comes back to the level only when the price comes back to the same level comes back to the same level you can take the entry okay when the, when the comes back to the same level you can take you can just come to the entry okay so uh, this is this is how we need to uh, draw a particular zone okay you need to draw a particular zone this gives you a clear idea this gives you a clear idea about how drawing a zone with the help of body to wick method okay now let me just take the second case the wick to wick method so in the wick to wick method what happens let me just draw my entry my entry wobbly over here which is the blue line and uh, further we take the red line which is our stop loss and what will be our target a target will be over here okay okay um just give me a moment okay now i just think uh like we do have uh, the first entry over here and second the stop loss over here the stop loss over here okay Um, the stop loss which is over here okay, I have some small disturbance okay. okay so sorry for that sorry for that guys okay. see like um, in this case uh, in this case now see where do we take the entry once the market reverses okay but you just find one thing identical in the both the cases okay you just see one thing which is identical we you need to understand and notice that very clearly okay so in both the cases the first one i just kept the stop loss like uh, the target will be like this and the second case the target will be almost like this okay so the difference over here see here seven uh, seventy six thousand six hundred and thirty two 
and here the 75,872 okay so the difference is something huge okay so why I'm keeping like that the one thing is always we need to take a trade always we need to take a trade okay always we need to take a trade which is considerably which is considerably 1 is to 2 okay so if it is less than 1 is to 2 your target is which is less than 1 is to sorry the target is like I just consider the reward as the first one and the risk as the second one okay so let me just uh, give you a clear picture like um, okay so always uh, I just take it as a take into consideration reward reward to risk ratio okay the, re the reward to risk ratio should be always should be always 1 is to 2 is to 1 even I just get confused sometimes don't worry okay so if you don't have a risk reward of 2 is to 1 please don't trade okay please don't trade so that's a very important thing what I need to say you okay if you have a risk reward of a uh, reward, reward to risk ratio of 2 is to 1 okay you can go go ahead and trade but don't ever trade like a 1 is to 2 or um, like a 2 is uh, like a 1 is to 5 1 is to 6 there are lots of people trading like that okay your target 1 should be always 2 is to 1 okay and your target 2 should be always 3 is to okay so this is very important guys so uh, you need to take this into consideration so without this you are going to miss something okay so you are always your risk reward should be maintained in a very key level should be maintained in a very key level that your target and your stop loss okay your target and your stop loss should be should be 2 is to 1 in the case of target 1 and 3 is to 1 in the case of target 2 okay so this is the very important and basic understanding what you need to have okay the next important thing is method 1 and method 2 method 2 like okay let me just put it over here like entry method entry method 1 and 2 we do have like a two very important difference okay we do have some very important difference we do have like very important difference that the in the case of in the case of the body to big method the stop loss and the entry the, the stop loss and entry will be the difference between the stop loss to entry will be small the difference between the stop loss to entry will be small comparatively okay comparatively compared compared to the week to week method where the stop loss between the stop loss will be quite big okay in the week to week method the stop loss will be big so because of the stop loss is big the target will also be big okay the target will also be big and the same case in the case of body to wick method okay so the stop loss will be less the stop loss will be less and the target will also be less so it can be attained within the day that's very important okay so most of you guys are intraday key players okay so most of you are intraday key players so it is always such I'm just speaking on the behalf of intraday okay I'm not speaking about the uh, like a positional trade setups okay positional trade setup always I suggest you guys to take week to week method which is the second one okay you just always you take a week to week method whenever you are trading whenever you are trading based upon 
when you are trading based upon investment i suggest you to take wick to wick method whereas in the case of body to wick method body to wick method it just gives you a very clear idea that uh, for intraday this is the best suited method for intraday this is the best suited method okay i think uh, you guys understand the difference between the body to wick method and the wick to wick method the only difference is the only difference is the stop loss will be big in the case of wick to wick method on on that uh, so it it just result you in bigger stop loss so obviously it is it is not possible to complete it within a day okay so because of that we just consider the wick to wick method is not that much suitable for intraday okay and for the um, body to wick method it is mostly suited for the it is it is mostly suited for the intraday key player like for intraday players so the body to wick method will be the best method okay okay so okay guys so i think the method the two methods what we have discussed okay the what we had discussed it's very clear i think so okay i think uh, you you guys are very clear about it the body to wick method the body to wick method the body to wick method it is for intraday and the wick to wick method is for push okay okay i i i think i think you guys are very clear about it now okay the wick to wick method is for positional and body to wick method is for intraday okay and okay the another important thing for intraday you can use wick to wick method okay i'll just show you show you some example don't worry okay see like uh, let me just consider this as our uh, particular uh, buy zone or demand zone so in this case what you can do in this case what you can do you can take the entire uh, you can take the entire candle because the stop loss is very minimal okay so if for your risk appetite for your risk appetite it is fine okay for your risk appetite it is fine damn sure you can go for the trade don't worry okay it just depends upon your risk uh, your risk management you can plan your trade setups okay so whenever the stop loss is minimal and you you feel that you are comfortable with the particular stop loss you can go for a week to week method on the intraday basis okay so if the week to week method if you believe that for an intraday basis it is not possible to it is not possible to um reach that particular level you can switch from the week to week method to body to week method okay i think uh, you guys now understood like uh, what method to select okay so if you guys have a doubt please let me know because this is a second important thing what we need to understand okay i think you guys understood very clearly the body to week and the week to week method okay and hemel uh, hemel uh, i just uh, say i just said uh, one of the message uh, to anand also like uh, there are lots of things okay which are to be discussed on this particular zone formation hence we were like uh, the in the initial level if i'm just giving this much of brief and brief detailed uh, um, way so definitely it will uh, make you guys to think something okay it is something not our plate of meal okay you may think it in such a way so because of that only i'm just dividing it into multiple levels okay and each and every level you guys are updating on this particular strategy okay and you are making it in a very clear uh, you you are just able to understand it in a very clear way okay i believe that it is it is something uh, very easy for you now I, i think you guys can go out tomorrow and then mark n number of zones okay you have like two fresh two beautiful days two days like saturday and sunday you have two days you try to post as much as day like uh, tomorrow our uh, now such channel to it can it can become like a uh, it should be flooded flooded with charts okay it should be flooded with charts you guys can just like that mark okay you can you guys can just like that mark okay the body to wick method and the wick to uh, wick to wick method you take all the entry trades the six methods okay the six methods what are the six methods okay so uh, the in cell zone in the cell we have like a two zones 
and in the by we have like two zones the reversal and the continuation pattern in both the cases which is which forms the four and the power zone we have we have two power zones altogether we have six zones okay from either from today night you start okay either from today night or tomorrow morning you guys just start it okay you keep on posting okay so that the the other guys should understand okay on your post the other guys will definitely understand okay where to so form a zone and you just mark like entry stop loss and target you just mark it okay target one target two you can put it okay the target one will be two is to one and the target two will be three is to one okay i think uh, i think you guys got a very clear idea about it yes or no we got a very clear idea about it definitely this session should be a remarkable session okay because i just made it as crispy as i can okay as uh, as easy as i can okay i just made it uh, to 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 the text that i just made it i just believe on that okay so uh, the thing is always we should take the target as 2 is to 1 and the target 2 as 3 is to 1 and the entry method the body to week method we can take it for intraday and the week to week method we can take it for positional trade systems okay so uh, i think this this gives you a very clear picture about the about the targets and the entry methods okay now you guys are very clear about the entry stop loss okay fine let me just start like this okay so now, now you guys are clear about the zone formations the first thing is zone formations the second thing is which will be the entry which will be the stop loss and what will be the target okay okay the, the three things what you need to like we just, we have discussed all the basic concepts what is required for a zone formations okay what is required for a zone formations okay we we just give it in such a way like uh, the first is a zone formation component which is the three components ib candle e candle and ib candle which forms a zone and three consecutive lows or three consecutive highs uh, qualifies the zone okay just gives a qualification for the particular zone and the third thing is what will be the entry method whether it will be the body to wick method or the wick to wick method okay the next thing based upon the drawing of the body to wick and the wick to wick you get the entry and the stop loss okay you get the entry and the stop loss and in the same case if you have the based upon the target the target one one will be always 2 is to 1 and the target two will be always 3 is to 1 okay if you are failing to take a trade if you are planning to take a trade which is having a, a, a stop a risk to, a reward to risk ratio of 1 is to 1 please don't trade okay please don't trade that's the only thing what i what i just suggest you okay so if you are if you are planning to take a trade on a risk on a reward to risk ratio of 1 is to 1 please don't trade okay definitely it will it, it will definitely it spoil your uh, um spoil your uh, entire a uh, margin it, it will just erode just like that okay okay so uh, sachin asked the question so, so sachin i will just discuss uh, discuss uh, you uh, about this concept like kiran uh, the same question like uh, expect the second time also yeah like uh, we will discuss further okay so this concept we are just going to discuss only about the zone formations okay if only about the zone formations we are looking at here so uh, we can uh, have a discussions on the like uh, multiple time entries okay and uh, what happens if the particular zone is breached okay this two things i will address it in another few minutes okay so that uh, first I'll, i can just uh, plot all the six zones okay all the six uh, zone formations i can give you a clear picture okay after that we will we will go ahead okay so i think uh, that that will be fine okay let me have some water and uh, surprising thing i just got one message okay so uh, let me just bring it for you now is yes, that happened so uh, what's the thing we have uh, reached 1k subscriber so that, that was an awesome thing like we were, we were just discussing a few few hard like one hard uh, back we are just discussing about it and uh, right now we have almost like 1000 subscribers in our youtube channel 
and uh, definitely it is something uh, a, a, a very big thing uh, what happens okay so uh, thank you guys like uh, you know you have just made my day special i get thank you for that thank you for that let me have some water thank you guys thank you everyone like with without you guys this would have not happened this would have not happened thank you thank you thank you guys like uh, thank you all the 147 who are watching this video live thank you guys you have, you have just made my day special okay so this is uh, 0708 2020 so uh, my channel is uh, Okay, it's not only my credit. Okay, so it it, it just belongs to all of you guys. Like it, it just made it to a uh, thousand. So it it was like a, a really happy moment also for me. Thank you guys. Uh, like uh, I believe that um, um, I I just deserve it. The one K subscribers. Okay, so definitely I just deserve it. Um, because like. Um, it, it's not like a, it's, it's it's a very big community like we are just going we are, go, we are just multiplying every day each and every day so i'm just um okay so let me just go ahead further and discuss uh, more about the zone formations okay, so. Okay guys, now let me just check it. Okay, so the second method. Okay, so let this, uh, I'll just clear this off. Let's take something in the case of bank nifty or nifty. Okay, so today I just draw some zones so over three minutes. So just okay. So we do have an example, a best example for the power zone. Okay, so uh, this happened to be on yesterday. Okay, this happened to be on yesterday. Our soon entry started so far. <laughs> I'm a <an> narrow CPR. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's that's really good. That's that's really good, my friend. Okay, so uh, now let me just further. Okay, the regarding the power zone formations. Okay, so in the case of power zone formations, let me just take the picture for you. Um Okay, so power zone, the power zone does not have any E candles. Okay, the power zone does not have any sort of E candles. Okay, any sort of E candles. So uh, definitely, uh, um, definitely this should be something uh, a, 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 a very, very important concept uh, in the case of the zone formations. Okay, so here if you see uh, the first conditions, we need to draw the zone. We need to draw the zone. Okay, we need to draw the zone from the second candle. Okay, the second candle high to the body, the body high to low. Okay, the second candle body high to low. Okay, it's not the first candle. First candle does not do anything. Okay, the second candle is the only thing uh, you need to understand. The, the, you, you need to draw the candle. The, you need to draw the zone only based upon the the second candle the first candle does not involves in anything in the case of power zone okay in the case of power zone the second candle only plays the role okay see now the what is the second condition the first condition is the there should be no e candles and two ib candles okay you see only 
IB candle and another IB candle and, and, and another IB candle forms a forms a power zone okay in the case of power zone what is the second criteria it should follow it should form three consecutive highs but in this case we have one two three four five okay but our criteria satisfies on this candle itself on this candle itself our criteria satisfies okay now see the second candle it's not mandatory to be an ib candle the second candle can be an e candle and third candle can also be an e candle so it does not means that we should have only ib candles as the consecutive candles okay it is not mandatory okay it is not mandatory now what happens when you will take the entry whenever the price retrace to the level whenever the price retrace to the level you take the entry okay whenever the price retrace to the same level you take the entry okay this is the first thing what you need to understand okay i think this gives you a clear picture and understanding okay now what will be your entry your entry will be the body high to the low of the low of the second candle okay so let me just draw the candle line so this will be the blue color line and uh, the second line which is the stop loss line will be the red color line and uh, the green color line will be our target okay okay so here we don't have like body to wick method we do we don't have like body to wick method okay so that is the first thing you need to understand we don't have like body to wick method okay so uh, or wick to wick method so in this case we just call it as a the second method like it's, it's almost similar to body to wick it's, it's similar to body to wick but we, we just consider the ib candle not the e candle because there is no e candle on this trade setup okay so now what happens uh, we just uh, can satisfy the second criteria of three new highs and uh, we form the zone and uh, the the entry the entry will be the high of the zone which we have marked and the stop loss will be the low of the low of the zone and the target will be always as we suggested the target one will be one is two so two is to one and the third one will be and the second target will be 3 is to 1 okay i think i have given you a very clear idea about how to form a buy power zone okay a, 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 a power zone which is uh, represent a buying area okay i think now i just made it quite clear for you guys to how to form a how to form a buy zone okay so next thing is uh, let me just uh, discuss further about this cell power zone okay so if you see here you have the cell power zone which is formed over here just mark it okay so the first criteria the first criteria the both the candle should be an ib candle the first criteria the first the both the candle should be an ib candle that first criteria is satisfied and second criteria it should form like a three consecutive lows okay now i just first this one consider as a new low second low and third low okay and then i just need to make it as a red hence it is a sell zone or a supply zone okay now see what happens the price just trying to breach that level one two three four five six six times consecutively okay so six times continu continuously it is trying to breach it but we don't consider that we don't consider that what happens okay so what happens the price come back to the same level on the very next day it tried to just get above that so once again over here it tried to get down and once again it tried to breach it but no it is not happening it's not happening from there it starts to fall and then it it just made the day okay from that's the day's high okay so we are able to capture the day's high that's a very important thing okay we are able to capture the day's high that's a very important thing we need to understand okay so i think uh, this one has done now uh, we, we are you just able to understand it very clearly okay so what happens the price come back to the same level and then from there it just try to uh, uh, try to fall from that particular level and considerably where it came to the power buy zone 
okay so once the market is pushing okay the when the, the how the market reacts the market will be pushing from a sell zone to a buy zone from a buy zone to a sell zone this happens simultaneously okay so this is what pushes the market every time this is what pushes the market every time okay so i think uh, now you guys okay let me just mark the entry over here the entry line will be here and the stop loss will be above the above the zone and the target will be as usual it will be like 2 is to 1 okay the first target and let me just put the second target like this second target like this okay so uh, you can just offload your first half quantity in the target one and the second half quantity you can just target in the second target like a third target you can just make it okay i think uh, now, now you guys understand about this uh, the the zone formations in the power zones okay the both the power zones we have just tried to complete it okay let me just take it take it further and uh, we can discuss something we can just see some good example Okay, that is an another uh, this can also respect of it. Well, I want ah no. Okay, we, we, we don't bother about whether it's respected or not. Okay, so uh, now what is this candle? What is this candle? Yes, it forms a chasm. So I just think this one is an uh, this one is an IB candle. Okay. This is an IB candle and followed by two E candles. See here, both the E candles are red color. You see the both the both the red candles are both the red candles are the E candles. Okay, the E candles can be red candle, no problem on it. No problem on it. The E candles can be the red candles. Okay. The so first this is the IB candle, second, this is a E candle, and third one is an IB candle and then another e candle okay and then another ib candle okay the first thing is where, where the zone is formed first one two three four in this four candles the zone is formed okay we do have like a two e candles over here and then the first low second low and the third low okay we do have like a three consecutive lows okay we do have like a three consecutive lows which 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 clearly indicates that that is a particular zone okay so uh, here what you do like we just draw the line from body to wick okay so out of this two candles out of this two candle which has the low which has the body low out of this two candle which has the body low the body low lies in the second candle the body low has in the second candle so i just mark it from here till where i need to extend it Till where I need to extend it I need to considerably increase to the uh, extend it to the level of high of the E candle okay high of the E candle okay so fortunately what happened okay that we just missed it in just just a few more few uh, points we have missed it okay but if you are this is the second first method method one we have missed by few pips okay okay let a few points we have just missed it okay whereas in the case of week to week method week to week method we just had a kiss on that zone okay the price just had a kiss on that zone and from there it starts to fall from there it starts to fall okay okay now let me just see an example for a loss entry okay see here here the price drops first okay which is an ib candle and then the second the e candle and then third one is an ib candle and then another ib candle and another e candle okay the first ib second the e and third ib forms the zone okay forms the reversal zone what happens and the second third uh, se first second and third highs have been there now let me just mark it from body week the uh, body to week low okay i just mark it as a buy zone or a demand zone now what happened this price has been the price has not been rejected uh, not been accepted okay so it went into a stop loss yes definitely it is a stop loss i just mark it as blue and my uh, this is my entry and this is my, my stop loss i just mark it in red just mark it in red and what's my target my target is 
green line which should be always 2 is to 1 which should be always 2 is to 1 okay so you need to understand that primarily oh. so uh, we need to understand that properly now see it just gives you a very clear idea it just gives you a very clear idea it just got uh, it just cleared the stop loss okay I i'll just tell you a reason why it, why it just clear the stop loss now see let me put it in a 5 minutes time frame okay in a 5 minutes time frame it is a power zone in a 5 minutes time frame okay in a 5 minutes time frame it is coming from a power zone see here okay so it, it's, it's, a, it's almost like power zone okay or else you can just see like a, so the fall over here is very big okay so uh, i think we have we do have some chart on the higher time frame okay let me just check where it went there it was okay see that should be some higher time frame which is involved in pushing this particular trade to a very depth level okay that's the first thing why it can why the particular zone can be breached okay so why a particular zone can be breached why a particular why a particular zone can be breached the first thing is any higher time frame any higher time frame supply can be there if there is an any higher time frame supply like 5 minutes or 10 minutes or half an hour or one hour or one day okay if there is anything like that so you are going to be you are going to suffer a loss on that case okay the second thing the second thing is we may we may would have got we may would have got some some seller who are very strong okay we may would have get a seller who are who are very strong on that particular area okay so if you if your level is breached if your level is breached if your entry and stop loss is breached you don't worry so if it is breached then it means that some new seller has came in some new seller has came in and he has a very huge volume than this particular trader okay so then the another institution we have an another institution who came in he has a very big volume okay so if something is if, if your if a if your particular trade is uh, uh, if your particular trade is uh, hit stop loss you should go ahead and see what the zone which made the which is the zone which made you to make a loss okay so damn sure if your zone is cleared which is which hits a stop loss it means that there is a high probability there is a high probability that this particular that there should be another sell zone in the top okay now in this case in this case if you see over here this is a zone as you believe or not see this until this i just take it i think I, I believe that this is a zone okay so this is what happened this is my entry and this is my stop loss and this will be my target maybe this might be my target okay so what happened the price retraced to the same level and from there it starts to fall and from there it starts to fall okay so whenever you are losing you don't you just you just don't skip that particular trade if you are losing there is someone who is very strong against you if you are losing there is someone who is against you that's a very important thing what you need to understand okay now now you guys would have got some answer okay so why a particular zone is formed and how a zone is formed okay so each and every zones are getting defeated by an another zone each and every zone is getting defeated by another zone only if an another institution who has a very huge volume can do that you and me are not capable of doing that okay we are we and me and you are not able to we, we are not moving the market okay the the battle is between the two institutions the battle is between the two institutions that's a very th very important thing you need to understand okay so it is not between you and me okay the retailers are just the responsive buyers and the responsive seller who are pushing the market value from one zone to another zone that is what we are doing we are just responsible for the movement in the market not the imp not the resp no, not the initiative buyers and the initiative sellers who are lying over there making a very good sum of money 
okay so we just want to be on the one percentage who are making money on a consistent basis okay i think i i've just given you a brief detailed way of how we form a particular zone i am sure this video would have uh, given you a very clear picture and understanding about the zone formations okay so uh, you should you should always uh, be very confident when you are marking a zone okay i think this session would have been a very excellent session um, i have given in the past okay i believe this session would be like a uh, uh, it's it's, like, it's almost like 106 okay i i have been speaking for more than 2 hours okay but still i believe that no one is bored in this case okay because the 160 count is has not reduced considerably okay i think uh, th this session would be the excellent session i would have ever taken okay i just thank you guys for uh, being here in a patient way okay so i just want you guys to post your comments in our telegram channel okay so uh, those who are watching from uh, the other channels like uh, yesterday we have like uh, that um, the channel name i forgot okay we have done some uh, uh, a particular video session in tamil for uh, another uh, another telegram channel okay so those guys who are watching please go ahead and post it in your telegram channel and uh, the reviews because I, i'll just start reading the reviews in the telegram channel okay so uh, thank you guys for uh, joining this session i believe that uh, this session would have been a very uh, a very useful session okay so uh, if you if you believe this session is a very good session and you just go ahead and give a like button and you just so you just give a click on the like on the like button okay and uh, you can just insist your uh, friends to uh, join our group and um, this this is what we are doing and we don't have any um, like a, um like a, we we are not doing the that much of promotions activities and other things but still i just believe you guys uh, are going to um, you, you are just uh, happy about uh, uh, this session because this session would have given you lots and lots of ideas okay lots and lots of ideas so uh, tomorrow i just want you guys to post your charts on our telegram channel continuously post your charts okay let let hundreds or thousands get out of the group no problem okay i just want the community guys who just want to understand this concept on a clear basis you keep on posting you just keep on posting okay so uh, definitely this video would have been a very big help for you okay um okay, so like uh, okay so the, if you if you don't don't know about the telegram channel you can just join in this channel like uh, it's novus h okay so uh, novus h will be the the telegram channel what you have okay so uh, definitely it will be a uh, you can just go ahead and you can further discuss over here okay so it will give you a very clear idea okay guys uh, i think uh, thanks for joining so uh, good night everyone okay so um, it, it's it's like it's a it's a very big session for me and in the live session we have uh, gained that thousand subscribers so it's, it's something very huge and uh, i believe this session went excellent and uh, this is the best session i have ever done this is the best session i have ever done okay guys thank you for everyone uh, thank for joining and uh, happy weekend okay so tomorrow on day after tomorrow we are planning for a session on uh, trend lines okay so uh, i'm just making the presentation okay so uh, meanwhile i'll just give you an update on that okay so it will be a youtube live it will be not a webinar session it will be a youtube live so that you can it can reach the maximum crowd okay okay guys uh, thanks for joining <laughs> thank you thank you thank you guys thank you everyone for joining good night i think i can just close it for the day bye bye